if you're confused about retinol then this video is perfect for you we're going to make it very simple for you to understand what exactly retinol or retinoids are which types are available how you should use it what you can use it with and so much more and if you have been looking for something to help you understand how retinol can help you get that glass skin you're looking for then you have found the right video if you'd like to watch ahead the timestamps are in the description box below as well as any product links in case you're interested and if you have any more questions you can always leave a comment and our team will get back to you let's begin what is retinol now first up retinol is a type of retinoid and all retinoids are formed from vitamin a which really helps with boosting collagen production improving the overall appearance of your skin speeding up the cell turnover which is how fast your skin produces new cells and it helps with any kind of acne and fine lines and early signs of aging Retinol is one of the most commonly known type. It's a deeply researched ingredient that has a lot of benefits if you do begin using it. However, it is important to know exactly what type of retinol you should try out for your skin concerns and skin type and also just what kind of frequency is right for you. Now, the benefits of retinol include helping increase cell turnover, reducing fine lines and wrinkles, increasing collagen production, helping with any acne treatment, improving your skin texture, regulating excessively oily skin, brightening dull skin and also decreasing hyperpigmentation. So it has quite a wide variety of benefits when you include in your routine all you need to know are the types of retinols and which one is right for you and your skin concerns so what are the different types of retinoids and how can you decide which one is right for you now the percentage of retinoid matters as well as the kind of retinoid that is being used in the formula because each one relates to a different strength and potency and that can influence exactly how your skin reacts to it whether it's going to be a little too irritating or if it's going to be just comfortable whether it is just enough as a beginner or if you are an advanced user if you need something else so let's get into that first at the very top of the food chain we have retinoic acid this is the most potent and pure form of it which is usually found in any kind of prescription treatment so this is not something that you will naturally find in over the counter products or in cosmetic formulations and it is very strong and best used under advisement now the second strongest form of vitamin A is retinaldehyde also known as retinal. This one is a really potent form and this just needs to convert one step to retinoic acid on your skin. So it does provide very intense results and if you are an advanced user and are used to retinol and retinoids in your skincare routine and you need something stronger, you can look for options that include retinal. Below retinaldehyde comes retinol. This is the most popularly known form of retinol and it is also a great option for most skin types. This is because it takes two steps to convert to retinoic acid and so you are going to be able to still see results without that level of irritation or strength with lower chances of irritation because it is of a slightly lower strength. Retinol is usually found in 0.1%, 0.3% or 0.5% formulas. This can of course vary and it does include other ingredients to help with this formulation. It is great for anyone who is experiencing any kind of acne issues, the appearance of fine lines or if you want to stimulate collagen production and just generally improve skin texture. For the most part because it is a lot more gentle this is great place for beginners to start their retinol journey and if you are new to retinol you've never used anything before you can always look for a lower strength and work your way up the chain so that you know exactly how your skin reacts to the ingredient finally the most gentle or mild form of retinol are retinol esters this can be things like retinyl palmitate retinyl acetate and a lot of others these are basically very very mild versions of the ingredient and they are great for people who have extremely sensitive skin or who just don't require as much of potency in their retinol and want something that's a little more low-key maintenance and will still help you see results over a longer period of time. This can be found in beginner products, in over-the-counter formulations and does help with improving the overall appearance of your skin. Let's talk about frequency and usage. Now the frequency with which you should use this ingredient in your skincare routine depends a lot on whether you are a beginner or an advanced user, which type of retinoid you are using as well as your skin concerns and the formula in which the ingredient is available. 
If you are a beginner, it is a great idea to start once a week at night and ensure that you are using the tiniest amount of the retinol as well as sandwiching it between moisturizer layers so that you are reducing any chances of irritation and you are giving your skin time to adapt and get used to the ingredient. As and in when you start using it, give it a few weeks and then you can increase the frequency up to two or three times a week and then see how your skin feels. Once you have completed this adjustment period, you can use retinoids as per your preference. If you are an advanced user, of course, you can have a higher frequency or a more potent ingredient like a retinol. Or if you are using prescription treatments, then you can follow what your doctor has advised. Now, retinol itself requires consistent usage and can usually take about 8 to 12 weeks to really show you good results. In this time, you might also experience what is called the purging period and this is basically because since retinoids are so potent and they increase cell turnover, they are basically bringing all of the stuff that is under your skin to the top a lot faster. So if you are acne prone, then all of the acne issues that would have been buried deep within are surfacing a lot faster and you will notice that this comes and goes in a faster cycle than a normal acne breakout, which is indicative of purging. This is different from any kind of redness or irritation which lasts longer and doesn't really show signs of going away it is important to know the difference between the two because that can help you know whether you need to stop the ingredient or if you need to adjust your routine if you'd like to use the retinol sandwich method then definitely check out the video we have linked up top it is going to be a great addition to your skincare routine and will really help you with that adaptation period in terms of how to use your retinoids, it's best to take the required amount on your hand. Don't take a big dollop, it's not like a moisturizer where you, take, where you can take a larger quantity. Take the prescribed quantity on the product and the best way is to gently spread it across your fingertips so that you are getting an even distribution and then use that across your face in all of the areas you wish. You can also just generally apply it as a complete application and that is going to be more than enough for your skin. Take care to avoid going too close to the eyes unless the product is specifically formulated to be okay. Now, if you find that retinoids make your skin too sensitive, you can also check out an alternative which is Bakuchiol. This is a plant-based ingredient and it is a lot gentler on the skin. So if you are very sensitive or if you are just unsure about starting with a more potent option, then you can definitely give this a shot and see how it goes. For more information, do check out our comparison between Bakuchiol and retinol. And if you still have any questions, you can always write to our team. I hope this video was a good beginning introduction to what retinol is, what types are available and how you can incorporate it into your routine as well as what benefits you have from it. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave a comment below and our team will get back to you and we'll see you in the next one.